New information tonight in the car crash that killed five children and a passenger earlier this month in Prince George's County. Sources are now telling WJZ the woman behind the wheel may have been under the influence. WJZ's live Kelsey Kushner has more on these new developments. Kelsey. That's right. Well, that toxicology report has not been released yet, but sources are now telling WJZ the driver behind the wheel may have been drunk. It's been three weeks since this horrific accident that killed five children, all ejected from a Chrysler Pacifica minivan. Now, sources tell WJZ the driver, 32 year old Dominique Taylor, may have been drunk while driving. Every collision we have where we lose life is a tragedy. Simple as that. And when children are involved, it's more of a tragedy. Police say Taylor's van veered off Crane Highway in Bowie. Among the children killed were Taylor's own children, five year old Paris Dixon and eight year old London Dixon, and their cousins, six year old Raquel Ricks and her brothers, 14 year old Zion Beard and 15 year old Damari Harold. The crash also killed passenger 23 year old Cornell Simon, who was taken off life support just this week. The investigation again is early, it's preliminary, but it appears that children were not restrained properly. At the time, police reported that Taylor was with wearing a seatbelt, but none of the children were. Several days later, family, friends, and even teachers remembered the children killed at a funeral. London and Paris were affectionate and loved to give hugs, often waiting patiently until we were finished with a conversation with a staff member or a student to give us a hug. And we were the happy recipients of those hugs. Now, police say that they haven't finished the investigation, but once they do, they will present those results to the state's attorney. I'm Kelsey Kushner reporting live for WJC.